Howdy guys, welcome back to Steam World Heist. Last time I took on the Techromancer Chop Sue, and now I need to head to Lola's Bar to turn in my quest, or well, that's the next objective, but it says something a bit different. It says, What has happened at Lola's? The place seems to have been tossed. Something is definitely amiss. Alright, so, uh, before I go into Lola's, looks like our team has some new things to say, so why don't we talk to him real fast. Smuggling, ba smuggling black market gallons was only supposed to be temporary, right? Maybe we took the easy way out, but could you imagine the two of us wrestling steam cattle? Poor creatures. I'm built into this chair, I'm a pilot. You, you're a captain, that's what we are. At least we found a good use for those skills now. He is built into the chair. I never quite realized that for bo before. I never like looked lower than his arms, but yeah, he's one with the machine here. All right, so let's talk to Avansky, my favorite. Why ever did you leave the circus life, Bogdan? Looks like, like to me like you were built for it. Yes, circus life was grand time with steam horse show and spring loaded acrobatics. Magical evenings when lights of big top shine on expectant eyes of young steambots. The great Ivansky did not want to leave, he was pushed away. After ballerina incident, Ivansky became butt of jokes. Hard to look strong with clown bots laughing at you. When they do that, they are not very amusing. Uh, ballerina incident. My fathers were both fighting bots, their parents were fighting bots, and their parents before them. I'm the last in a long line of soldiers. War is in my pipes. Alright, girly girl. Okay, so let's go see what's happening at Lola's. Uh-oh. What's that? Can you smell that? Ugh, smells like a steam bot to me. <laughs> Uh-oh, this is kind of hostile. Back off, Steambot. It, this illegal weapon shop has been expropriated. Oh, man. I can't even get in there anymore. Oh, Myrtle is still up here hanging out. She, I told you the Royal Space Force would come take care of the Shrappers. Yeah, clearly. Clearly, clearly, clearly. Slacking, Steambot. Oh, I can just kind of bypass the... <laughs> How about some new riggins? I can just, like, literally walk over here and buy this stuff. <laughs> Alright. Okay, video game. Alright, let's talk to the commander here. What's going on here? What have you done to everyone? Our wise queen wants us to investigate why you dim-witted steambots are unable to pay taxes properly. It might just be because of all the scrappers that have been terrorizing the outskirts. Excuses, excuses, typical damp steambots. Recreating the planet still needs to be funded, you know. Just look at this dump full of tax offenders. We even heard tales of a spy at this establishment. The proprietor was nowhere to be found, so we had to toss the place thoroughly while searching. We should send all of these slacking steambots to work camps, Commander. Your presence is highly suspicious, but our tax records will reveal if you've paid. What is your name, Steambot? Oh, uh, the name's Gat Parrot. That's a P, A, double R, E, double T. Uh, well, I think I'd better be off then. Uh, bye. What's going on? Alright, let's just run on out of here and looks like we need to talk to Wonky about what's what all's just happened here and here I was hoping to take it easy for a while these scurvy peacocks think they can come to our turf and mess with our people our people I thought you despised the miners Seabrass I hate the royalists more I do think it's time for us to pay the royalists back in kind Okay, ma'am, it's going to be a nice change us chasing after them instead of the other way around. The outskirts have had enough hardship, and just look at how we handled Chop Sue and her scrappers. Yar, let us, let's go bother us some royalists. Ooh. 
Head into the royalist territory is going to be dangerous, ma'am. It's about time someone other than the dang scrappers stood up to them. All right, set course for the core. Oh man, there's going to be like a new area to check out, huh? All right, well, hopefully I can come back here if I want. I think I've done everything there is to do, though, so to the core. The way to the glowing warmth of the core. It could have been a nice place if it wasn't full of royalist oppressors. Having dealt with the scrappers in the outskirts, our bold captain and her trusty crew race towards royalist base on a mission to hassle the queen a bit. The royalists once had a righteous cause in reassembling the world using massive chains. Nowadays, they're mostly pushing people about. The diesel running in their tubing makes them less vulnerable to the water shortage. This makes them strong and lets them behave in pretty much whatever way they like. They waste their power and resources on gathering old junk and artifacts from the past, storing it all in giant warehouses. Is there some grand nefarious plan to this madness? The Queen seems to care scrap all for the well-being of her steambot subjects. Someone needs to put a stop to this monstrous monarch. Hmm. All right. So it sounds like these royalists might run off of diesel instead of steam, so we ought to be seeing some different designs. All right, a royalist scout heading for the outskirts. The miners and farmers have been have seen enough hardship for a while. The crew should stop the ship from continuing its troublesome trajectory. So we're going to find and destroy the ge generators and evacuate. This is a two-party mission. So I'm of course going to be bringing Piper and I'm not bringing Bia. I'm hmm I don't know if I'm a bigger fan of Seabrass or Avonsky right now. I think I'm a bigger fan of Avonsky, so I'm going to bring Avonsky. And let's go. Two-man mission. Hopefully we can get this done quickly and carefully. I'm using my strongest characters. And, um... Okay, this place looks different. Let's see. Halt, you stinking fogheads have really stepped into the scrap now. Feel the might of our diesel power, Steambot. Alright, so I've gotten, um, ooh, he's got like a really different looking kind of weapon on. Alright, let's try to ricochet a shot here. It looks like that's going to bounce off of him, though, from the way that the bullet's showing. But, uh, well, I'm hmm, not sure if there's a better way to bounce it than this, though. <gasps> okay, it did, it just bounced right back. Okay, how about, um, how about with Avonsky here? What if I just blast him right in the butt? There we go. <laughs> I took one damage, but, you know, whatever. Um, I went and redid one of the missions, and uh, so I've got a little bit of extra experience, I think. Ivansky can now, when he uses his, uh, his abs thing, he kind of, um, it forces everyone near him to target him. And uh, I think you guys have already seen how Piper's inspiration goes a bit further. I'm not sure if you guys saw it yet or not. I can't quite remember because I redid a few missions. I can't remember what I've recorded, so sorry. All right, I'm trying to get... All right, I got that guy in the face this time. And Avonsky will open up here. All right, that must be a generator. All right, so that'll be one of the generators. We've got two to worry about. There we go. All right, Piper's going to take some damage here, but... Um, not terribly worried about it because she's got that one move that can heal her up. So I'm going to move her back one. And let's see if we can still bounce that bullet on this guy's head. Looks like it. There we go. I should have used my power shot last time. Alright, going to open this. And let's see, his weapon arcs a little bit. So, alright, well, I blew that up. Still not great with the, the weapon I have on Avonsky, but I like it so much I just keep using it. My hat! My cat on a, in a hat. Alright, I'm gonna go... Um, I really want to run back because I really want my hat. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot the... Well, alright, I need to get to the mission first. I'm gonna have Avonsky come down here and help Piper with this guy. And uh, get my... Oh gosh, I just realized I just blew half myself up. They, these little barriers come up. These are different. Alright, I'm going to have Piper run back and get her hat because that's just 
too important to leave behind. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Can I... There we go. Oh, that thing has a lot of health. The little shield barriers. Alright, let's bring Piper... Let's just have her uh, sprint over here. And Avonsky, I'm going to have him keep shooting that guy. And then let's have Piper go ahead and stand here. And I'm going to have her use her area repair. And then Avonsky, let's see, there's a lot of swag to collect. I don't think, are all the bots gone? Okay, I guess so. I don't know why I'm going so slowly through here. Let me grab the swag and get through that next door. I think we're doing okay so far. Alright, there's some swag up there. Let's run up there and get it. But yeah, these ship designs are a lot different. I don't know if there's going to be a whole bunch of different areas to go through in this game or not. I think that'd be really cool if there was, but who knows. Alright, so there's a treasure there and a treasure there. Let's uh, just race and see who gets there first. Alright, Piper's going to grab that one. Alright, so she can get both of them. Good, good, good. And then Avonsky. I'm not quite ready for him to open the door, so I'll have him hunker down next to it. And then, um, let's see, let's go ahead and have, oops, wrong button, Avonsky open that. Ah, Lieutenant Jameson Hankton Tinklesmith have been dispatched by royal decree to aid our drill crews and assist in whipping all Steambot subjects into paying their water tax in a timely manner. It's the Queen's Gallons, after all, and we get to kick around some steam bots. The gall daring to board us. No steam-driven bot can match the Royal Space Force. Uh -huh. And once we can use the source of alien power that we just seized out of deep space, we will be... Uh, Lieutenant. Oh, you are a sly one, pirate, luring me into telling you Her Majesty's secrets. Oh my gosh. I shall have you drawn and quartered. Oh my gosh, it's video game plays. Alright, so I feel like I can take this guy out pretty easily down here. Just kidding. Alright, well I did some damage. It's better than no damage. I'll have Piper stand behind Avonsky. I probably should have done that her first so she could get the inspiration, but I wasn't thinking. And I could probably kill that guy, I think. There we go. Alright, so we just have this one bugger here, and I think we're going to be fine. So, Ivonsky, or no, Piper, actually. Piper will go here, and ricochet the bullet because I'm a bad, and let's just make this easy on ourselves. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I, I get how the weapon works, I just refuse to to play like a sensible person. Oh, shot the hat. My topper! Alright, here, let's let's not be a complete bozo about this. There. I I mean, I took some damage, but at least her weapon didn't block me that time. Alright, let's get that last generator there. And it grabs the last of the swag. And the hat. Alright, and then, oh, Ivonsky can even grab that one, too. Let's go ahead and get both of them. And I think we'll be done. Alrighty. That was a pretty easy mission. I don't know why I'm so determined to make everything I do so stupid, but whatever. I love this game. I don't care. It's really fun. Even when I do something dumb, it's amusing to me. I know it might be a little frustrating to you guys, and I, I'm sorry if I for doing the things dumbly, but I'm just having fun. Alright. More swag, more gallons, more gallons, more gallons. A vintage rider. Traditional space rider helmet. Meshed leather surface with textile inside. This model flaunts complimentary anti-reflective goggles. Alright, a royal scoped pistol. That's a tier 4. It's the first tier 4 weapon I've gotten. That looks nice. I'm going to use that on Piper, I think. And the epic swag. A royalist sidearm. Adds free action. Shoot a bullet that deals 4 damage. 2 uses permission. I don't really care much for the sidearms, but... In fact, I have to sell 2 items. I'm going to sell... <laughs> Oh, jeez. Alright, let's get rid of that. I don't care for that. The scoped carrion. And, uh, hmm, that's just a tier 2 weapon, but I haven't even gotten to play with it yet. Uh, it's not too great. Um, I want to keep that. Alright, I need, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just sell that one. And I could probably get rid of a few of these other items, but whatever, it's fine. Alright, got all three stars. Get some experience. 
Alright, not a whole lot, but whatever. And we're heading back to the ship. Let's see if anyone's got anything exciting to say. So, they've managed to see some grand strange power out in deep space. More power in the hands of the Red Queen can't spell anything but trouble for the rest of us. I guess we'll have to take it off her hands then. We just need some information on where it's kept. To the nearest bar then, ma'am. Well, uh, it is a strategy that has worked for us so far, I guess. <laughs> so, to the near- I know everyone's got something new to say, so to the nearest bar. Let's head for the nearest bar, ma'am. Alright, and I will do that. Uh, die tank tankstel. Die tankstel. Alright, well, I'll check that out next time. Oh, look, your stars re uh, reset in the new area. So I guess you can only get a certain amount of... Oh, okay, you can... Okay, so that's the maximum amount of stars there is 45. The maximum amount here is 38. Alrighty, I see how it works. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to be done playing Steam World Heist for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you again with another episode soon. Thanks again, and bye for now.